So to fix this issue, we're gonna go over the step that we did previously for locating an AMI ID. So we wanna locate, we wanna filter through the AMI IDs using the product ID from the marketplace that we did earlier on. So let's go back to that page here. And in fact, we've got that tab open. So what we're gonna do is gonna do a search again. And we're gonna do another search for a different product ID. So that one didn't quite have any images that we could use. Um, so let's go to the second one here. And let's go through to the subscription. Um, and I've already subscribed to this one. So I don't need to, or I don't get the button to subscribe. So what I wanna do is I wanna get the product ID. So I'm gonna copy that again here. And I'm just going to save that onto my clipboard quickly. And let's go back to the terminal. And what we're gonna do is gonna clear the screen first. And then we're gonna run that query again using the AWS CLI. So I'm gonna delete this placeholder here. So it's probably from a previous one. And I'm going to copy this again. And it looks like it's the same one I had already. So we have the product ID in there now. So let's click return there. And this time we, we are getting some images here. So we've got quite a few images that are coming through. So hopefully this one will actually work. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna copy the image location. So we're not gonna copy the AWS marketplace forward slash. So we're gonna start from here where it says Ubuntu images. We're gonna continue all the way up to where it says server. And then we, we have the hyphen. So we're gonna copy up to that point. So we copy from here all the way up to where it says server. And then where we have the hyphen before the year. And let's go back to our config here. And we're gonna stick that inside here. So we're not gonna delete the asterisk. We're gonna delete everything else that was there before. And I'm gonna paste that new value in. So we're gonna have Ubuntu images, HVM SSD, Ubuntu Bionic 18.04, AMD dash server dash star or asterisk there. So we're just gonna copy a part of the image location because if you put the whole image location there, it's not actually gonna be able to find it. And if you remember, I think this is the, pro the, the product ID and that's just the path for the AWS Marketplace. So all we need in the name value is starting from Ubuntu all the way up to server and then the hyphen there. So that's what we have here. So I'm just gonna save this out and then let's now go back to the running of this. I'm gonna quit that. Uh, let's clear the screen again. And then let's just go back to running the packer build. So I'm just going to say packer build, and then obviously we're gonna pass it our image packer config that we've done already. So I'm gonna hit return this time. And it looks like it's running without an issue. Um, we, don't, we don't get that immediate error that we did previously, so it did manage to find the AMI ID. So if it says here, as you can see, found image uh, ID, so AMI. So it did manage to find the AMI ID with this one here. So that's the only update that we needed to do there to get this to work. So this is gonna take a few minutes to run. So I'm going to pause here, and then we're gonna continue when Paka finishes building the image for us. So it's taken six minutes and two seconds to complete. So this is going to be slightly different for, for you maybe. Um, so it, it takes a little bit of time to build the image um, itself. So um, you can imagine that it went through the steps that we looked at at the beginning. So it created the EC2 instance and then it launched that and then it's SSH into it and then ran the provisioners that we specified in the file. So that's now done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the EC2 console and I have that open here already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the AMI section. So if you go to the EC2 console, uh, and if you remember, um, I'm deploying everything in US EC2. So you need to make sure you're in the right region where you've deployed it. Um, if you go to AMIs here, which is already selected, um, you have the AMI ID. So this is exactly the image that's now being created by Packer. It's now created the AMI for us. So we have this image here, and we can now re we can use this image now to launch an EC2 instance with it. So um, it's created it for us. And what we can do now is we can simply copy, so if we go back here, so we can simply copy the AMI ID and then use that when we launch an EC2 instance. Um, and in fact, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna verify that our image is exactly as we created it. So we're gonna verify that we have Docker 
And we're also going to verify that we can run the Docker container image that we pulled down onto the image as well. So we're going to verify that our image works as it as it should do. And we're going to basically launch it with an EC2 instance. And we're going to do that in the next steps.